fellow YouTubers, uh, this video is one that some of you have definitely been waiting for. I've had a lot of people reaching out recently about the vibrational states of astral projection. I've had quite a few comments recently uh, curious about the anxiety that people are feeling and the stuckness that they are feeling getting past a certain vibrational level to reach that full astral projection. In some of my other videos that I've made around astral projection and remote viewing, I have stated that astral projection is also a form of subconscious and conscious projection, that it is the consciousness projecting itself. Since we are constantly communicating with the universe, whether it is subconscious or conscious, that is a form of projection. It's how we call in and manifest things into our lives and the energy that we focus on, the things that we think about ourselves, the things that we think about others, all get fed out into the energetic area around our body, our soul's projection around the physical body and out into the physical reality and is brought back to us like a mere imagery or um, this kind of buoyancy of something being, you know, reflected from um, almost like a trampoline act uh, where here you're bouncing and then you're going to get a vibrational reaction back to you. So when you think about this concept of how you want to intentionally project yourself in astral projection, it is going to always be based around your intention. It's good to think about the intention that you have when doing astral projection and what your ultimate gain or goal is. Are you doing it for a form of healing? Are you doing it for a form of awareness or evolution? Are you using it to sneak or spy on people? What is the intention in astral projecting for you, whether it's communicating with guides or whether it's being mischievous, that you're going to have some kind of outcome from this? And also it is good to ask yourself the important questions around the blocks that you have in your emotional, physical, and spiritual bodies that are keeping you from astral projecting in this way. And that's where we get into these vibrational states of, of projecting. We have naturally accumulated throughout our soul's journey different types of blocks or walls, however you choose to specify it in your own life or use the analogy, it is the things that are keeping you from allowing a more positive flow of vibration and source to flow through you. In that aspect, to positively do an astral projection, it is good to focus on your own meditative and healing state to get the results that you're looking for. And a lot of times in communicating with uh, people recently through comments on YouTube or through other forms of social media and through clients that I've gotten, there are people that are starting to realize that their personal blocks, whether they are consciously aware of them or whether they karmically attach to them from other lives, from traumatic experiences or from fear or doubt, all of these things, even guilt and shame, add to the blocks that keep us from flowing. Now these things get talked about and brought up in everyday life with any type of healing process that takes place. It is also something that is very important to become aware of and being proactive about when wanting to positively astrally project um, to higher vibrational states or through the soul's journey and experience and through memory by addressing these things that are in your own well-being. I talked to someone recently who had left a comment about the vibrational state that he got to. He felt this immense shaking and intensity of stuck feeling as almost to break through a specific wall to get to this next level of astral projection, but for the heart to speed up and to start to get into a place of anxiousness, to go from the calm to the anxious level. Now there's a lot of theories that have been coming up, especially with religious people around astral projection 
and the negative or lower vibrational entities that come into the forefront of our mind or into our existence when trying to utilize um, and actually project ourselves or consciously project ourselves in any way. And a lot of this stems from the people that have commonly experienced sleep paralysis and have experienced sharp, dark shadows or figures coming to them and threatening them or holding them down or keeping them unempowered and stuck and unable to take it upon themselves to get the willpower that they need to get out of that stuck place. Now fear of these things will instantly bring it more into your realm of focus and will also draw those things to you. By being able to acknowledge the dark entities and the shadows in a way that you show no fear and you acknowledge it as other parts of yourself that are attached to these things that need to cleanse or purify or release this type of energy is very, very important. You don't want to have doubt, you don't want to have fear, and you want to give yourself your own free will back, your own power back. When trying to find body-soul oneness and the balance in our lives in this physical existence and knowing that we are soul creatures made up in a material world, it's important to give yourself your power back and to use the power of your word to claim what you do and do not want. It is very important in any activity that you do, whether it's astral projection, healing your emotional, physical, or spiritual bodies, or manifesting your personal life, your career life, your love life, whatever the goal of attainment or the intention may be, you want to use the power of your word to speak into your energy fields what it is that you are wanting, which goes back into that intention, and that is very important. For us to be able to move through different layers of vibration from lower to higher, we have to address the things that are causing an imbalance in our own vibrational field before we can comfortably project ourselves into any other type of dimension or reality. Now since our souls are consciously projecting always and on a subconscious level, utilizing that power of your word allows you to gain that self-control back and that power of will back. I have a lot of people reaching out right now uh, wanting me to work with them in this way and I'm available at all times for anybody that wants to reach out to talk more about their own personal well-being, their stories, their experiences, their struggles and things that would cause any type of blocks or walls to go up in their energy fields or in their physical bodies that would keep them from being able to attain or reach new levels of awareness or evolution in this way. As well, a good thing to remember when it comes to these blocks and these walls that are up, these things that are keeping you from progressing or making you feel stuck in some way, it is good to remind yourself that joy ecstasy, happiness, bliss, all these beautiful, positive vibrational emotions and things that make up the joy that we experience in this physical reality is something that flows through the entire universe. It is not a weight that you have to put on yourself to create this within yourself. It is not a pressure that you need to put on yourself to manifest these things. Ecstasy, joy, and bliss flow through you. All you have to do is be open to receiving it and allowing it to flow through you. The only thing that you need to do is focus on your own inner work, your own power of your word and intention to let go of the past or to remove yourself from holding on to any type of guilt or shame or fear or doubt or lower vibrational energy and emotion that would keep walls and blocks up from you being able to allow that flow to take place. Always remember to be grateful for the ability that you have as a creation from source, as we are all from source, to have a constant connection to source power and to source light to flow through you. It is something you can call upon and magnify within yourself at any moment in time. 
It is not something that you have to put pressure on yourself to cultivate and create in your own way. You have to hold yourself at your own responsibility for your own healing process, but not the responsibility of feeling joy and bliss naturally when all you have to do is allow it to flow. If you have any questions about this current video and relations to my other video, please feel free to reach out and I will continue to update with information and more details around astral projection specifically with vibrational states. And in the meantime, I really hope this helps. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Blessings.